hello YouTube welcome back to my video in this video we are going to check how we can create a simple CRUD application using PHP and MySQL as uh, uh, the database okay so from front end we'll be uh, adding a data into the database and we will read that data uh, from the database and show in front end and uh, from front end we'll be updating the database and uh, we'll try to delete a value from the database okay so I have my exam server installed in my PC this is the exam control panel and uh, yeah, my exam server is installed in cdrag exam folder so inside the stdocs folder will be creating our php pages okay now let me start uh, my php server the apache server through exam just start now if i'm just going to local host page as you can see it will be empty as there is no page in that okay so i'm going to create an index page first and i'm uh, going to create an index.php okay yes now let me write something in that so i'm writing my name itself and save it and if i'm just going to my local host page and refreshing it will print my page and uh, my name okay so yes our server is uh, well running and uh, our index.php is also okay now as we are uh, going to test the crud project we'll have to configure first the mysql database okay so I have my uh, MySQL client installed, Heidi SQL. This is a simple portable MySQL client. You can use free, of course. Just search uh, uh, in Google how to, just search, search this name. You'll get uh, it free, of course, okay? So I have my configure uh, localhost in this. Just double click on that. So I have all these uh, database uh, in my, uh, in my uh, MySQL database, okay? I'm going to create a new database here. So this is same as your MySQL command. Like this is uh, just uh, uh, an UI part, UI representation of that, just like your MySQL workbench. Okay. So I'm going to create a new database as a test. I'm going to create a table inside this uh, test database. So just go to create new table. I'm uh, giving the name for the table as student, and here we, you can add the column names okay so first ne column is a uh, serial number i'm giving uh, uh, it as data type int and uh, you can set it as a uh, primary key for your database okay so this is primary and the default value i'm setting it as auto increment okay now the next uh, column i'm giving it as name set it, it as uh, varchar or a string value here it is and the length again i'm giving it as 500 and uh, can alone null no problem and uh, same way i'm giving uh, as grade and the next column i'm giving it as address okay yes so there is three columns name grade address and serial number as the uh, primary key for your table okay now let's create it just click on save yes the table has been created you can see the table is created here okay so there is uh, no data in that okay yes uh, the setting up of uh, your uh, database or mysql database is finished if you want to get your create query for this table you can go like this just click on this and here we can get uh, the create code for this table okay from here this is the uh, use of i mean a uh, feature of uh, our high D S SQL okay you can this uh, get this free of cost okay now going back to our code so inside the stdocs folder our index.php here now we have want to test the connectivity uh, to the um, mysql localhost database from our php page okay for that i'm going to create a new page uh, as uh, uh, db dot you can give any name so I, i'll be creating a, a, a db dot php where we will uh, uh, write all the connectivity uh, required connectivity uh, queries or uh, connectivity uh, codes in that uh, uh, page okay so let me create that as uh, db config i'm giving name as db config okay so inside this i am going to write the code to get the connectivity uh, with the MySQL database.
written the code to get the connectivity uh, with uh, mysql database I have not mentioned server name username password and database name let's check what is the output coming if i'm just running this from uh, our local host is dbconfig.php uh, okay yes you can see there is an connectivity error okay so authentication error so let's give the server name it's localhost actually the username is root and password is again root and the da database name is test okay let's try now so i'm just going you know, refreshing you can see there is no error which means the connection has is successful okay so uh, we have written if there is any error just give the error uh, down here okay now the connection is successful